this has been the million dollar question. Why didn't DM call the cops? Why didn't DM call the cops when she saw someone that was unfamiliar inside the house, especially dressed head to toe in black and someone that just slips past her? She says she never recognized him before. I know there's been a lot of talk about trauma, trauma in the moment, how people react to trauma, how people react to being shocked. She said she was in a frozen, shocked phase. And I think the perfect example of this is if you've ever seen the movie Saving Private Ryan, there's a scene in that movie that a soldier gets frozen as a German soldier walks past him and almost hunkers in fear. And like I said, this is how people can react to a certain situation. So we don't know. We weren't there but I'm sure that all of the other details will come out in trial. There's been other questions. Why did DM take so long to call the cops? Why did DM call friends first before calling the cops? There's a CBS news article that said on 1129 that the surviving roommate summoned friends to the residence because they thought that one of the victims had passed out and wasn't waking up. Several people spoke to the 911 dispatcher that day. Now, believe me, I could sit here and continue to pile on DM, and, and, and we do. We have every right, I guess, to do so because this is public knowledge. And like I said in the beginning of this video, it doesn't give us the right to harass, but we can ask questions. And there are still a few more questions that I have. Why did Brian return to the crime scene at 9 a.m.? Did he see DM and went back to maybe to kill her? Did he realize that he dropped the sheath and wanted to go back to retrieve it? Or did he simply want to just go back and relish in the crime, in the perfect crime, maybe in his mind that he just committed? And we've often heard in cases like this, killers or people that have killed will go back to a scene to see what's going on in that area, maybe to get that, that rush that they initially had doing the crime itself. And like I said, at this point, all we can do is speculate all we can do is continue to read through this affidavit and the evidence that's been put in front of us and we may not find all of the details in this trial we may not get all the answers to all the questions that we have we can only hope i still think there needs to be a lot of investigation in this case i think there's still a lot of unanswered questions that need to be answered brian koberger's next hearing will be on january 12th well, he will be faced in front of a judge and have to put in a plea of guilty or not guilty. I know the world will be watching just like all of you. And like I always say, opinions are like a-holes and everybody's got one. I'm the opinionated idiot. See you next time.